Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust with 31 Triple Doppler. So I've been talking a lot recently about how this has been a very unusually active start to the month of August. Here is the proof with the numbers. As far as severe weather reports in North Alabama and parts of southern Tennessee are concerned, we have had 148 reports so far this month of some sort of severe weather, whether it be a tree knockdown, power lines down, uh, flash flooding or lightning strikes that uh, have caused some damage or anything like that. Uh, 148 instances of that already puts this as the highest total in the month of August since the these records have been kept back in, since 2004, so uh, an already very active August. And for the year, we've had 720 reports locally. That's the highest total for any year since the infamous year of 2011. So it's been a very active 2023 that has kept rolling as we rolled through this summer. Uh, July was uh, a very active month as well. We're keeping that going in early August. Quiet this evening. We had a little rain earlier today, but we're going to be rain free tonight. 71 degrees with light winds at three miles per hour. High humidity is going to potentially lead to some fog overnight tonight. Our current temperatures are in the low 70s, likely only drop to the upper 60s overnight tonight. We're not currently seeing much fog out there, but it is possible we see that develop, especially starting around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And some of that may be dense at times as we move through drive time on Wednesday morning. We dealt with that earlier this morning. That could be a problem again as you to kick off the day on Wednesday that should clear out pretty quickly by the time we get to around 9 10 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. Otherwise, here's your day planner for Wednesday. Good chance you are dry to kick off the day. Those chances of rain and thunderstorms will be gradually climbing throughout the day. Prior to the rain, we should see those high temperatures reach the mid to upper 80s across the area uh, by Wednesday afternoon. But of course, we are monitoring the big threat for severe weather tomorrow. Level three risk in place for the areas highlighted in orange, parts of Lauderdale, Limestone, and a little bit of Madison County, as well as much of Middle Tennessee under that level three risk. That risk does drop off the farther south and east you go. And we do have a level one risk for most of the area for Thursday as well. This risk on Thursday, definitely a conditional threat dependent on what happens Wednesday into Wednesday night. If it gets uh, too rainy and wipes out the instability, then we're probably not going to see any severe weather on Thursday. But a good chance we do see severe storms Wednesday into Wednesday night with damaging wind being our primary concern. There is a possibility of large hail and I'm not ruling out a tornado or two during that stretch. Let's walk through the latest from future radar. Starting the day on Wednesday dry. First chance at showers and a few storms will be around the shoals around noon. Many of us will be dry for the first half of the day, but the first threat for strong storms rolls into northwest Alabama around the mid to late afternoon. And while it will be scattered in nature, some of these storms could be strong, potentially severe, worth monitoring around dinner time into the early evening. That is wave number one. The second wave, the more widespread round of storms likely rolls through after midnight tonight in or uh, midnight Wednesday night and will be widespread early Thursday morning. We're talking widespread heavy downpours with the main threat being more of that damaging straight line wind. That severe threat will be winding down as we head toward daybreak break on Thursday, but the additional downpours that could lead to some flooding problems will remain a threat as we head into the daytime on Thursday. Finally, we should see things wrap up by the time we get to sunset on Thursday evening. Widespread rain totals of one upwards of two inches, a possibility localized areas may get more than that. And if we do start to see those two, three, maybe even four inch totals pop up, that's where flash flooding could possibly come into play during the day on Thursday. Rain chances will be dropping slightly, but still a possibility Friday through the weekend all the way through next Monday. Uh, with those slightly lower rain chances, we will see the highs creep up near 90 late this week through early next week. Finally, a cold front should give us at least a brief break from the active pattern by next Tuesday and next Wednesday.